Hi there, want to learn how to quickly remove extra spaces in an Excel cell? Let me help. Hey, I'm Sharon from Excel at Work where we offer straightforward non-technical assistance to help you save time, work smarter and improve your Microsoft Office skills. So let's look at how you can easily remove those pesky extra spaces. I'll take you through two different options so that you can find the best option for you. And I'll also show you how extra spaces can impact calculations like VLOOKUP. Now, if you're using my 100 plus steps to proficient workbook to improve your Excel skills, I've popped the topic number this video relates to in the description box. If you haven't yet claimed a copy of this workbook, I've also added a link to where you can grab yourself a copy. Right, let's get rid of some spaces. Right, what we're going to do is we're going to talk about when you have to deal with data that's got a lot of unnecessary spaces in it. And this happens, you know, sometimes it can be that a human's done it, <laughs> accidentally put extra spaces in, or it could be that you've exported information out of another software product, and as it's come into Excel, it has actually had a few extra characters travel with it. And of course, that's quite common. Now, you could sit there and delete them one by one if you had time but we don't do we <laughs> so what I'm going to do is I'm going to take you through the trim function first of all I have seen people um, use the find and replace to see if they can use that to get rid of their um, spaces but Excel is quite brutal with a find and replace and I'll just show you what I mean so I'm just going to come over here and highlight just down this row here you can see that's our um, sorry down that column um, you can see that's our column that's got the extra spaces I've obviously put them in there for you to play with <laughs> what we're going to do is we're going to look at what a find and replace would do so I'm just going to use control H and open that up on the screen and what we're going to do here is we're just going to go find what up the top here and I'm just going to press my spacebar once okay that's all I did my spacebar on my keyboard now down below that I'm going to replace it with nothing okay so a lot of people do this they just go in there and you know what sometimes it works but I'll just show you what can happen so I'm just going to go replace all and you will see that it's made 11 replacements so there are quite a few little um extra spaces in there click on OK and close now yes it has actually fixed a few down here but you've now got Sarah Brook and Robert Brown smushed together and you've lost that space in between their first name and their last name not ideal okay so I'm just going to do an undo and I'll show you why trims better now what trim does is it looks at the cell and it goes are there any leading spaces before the data are there ex any extra spaces in between? If there was Sarah Brooke and it had space, space, space in between Sarah's first name and last name, it would take out those two extra spaces and just leave that, that one space. Brilliant. And then at the end it looks and goes, are there any spaces at the end? Oh, I'll clean those off for you as well, which is great. So this is better in the fact that it'll go in there, it'll get those extra spaces out of there, but it leaves the space in between. And it's such a simple function to use. I'll just delete what's there. Just go equals trim, open bracket, click onto the cell that you're wanting to clean up, close bracket, and look at that. It just does it for you. And of course, I've just copied that down into the rows below. So there's Roberts Brown, Brown and there's, obviously, it's just taking out. Now at the moment, you're probably thinking, what's it cleaning? Um, now this is a real gotcha. It's got an extra space at the end of that code. And this happens a lot. It, boy, it happens a lot. You can see underneath there that's just removing, you know, spaces in front. But let's talk about this one over here. Because I want to show you, um, over here we have that same situation. There's an extra space at the end of that code. Now if I come over here and, and replicate that, this is a VLOOKUP by the way. So you can see the VLOOKUP, is, I'll just double click onto here. The VLOOKUP is actually holding in memory that code AB4567 and then it's going over to the code and price table and looking down that first column for a match bringing back the information from the price column and of course it's done that beautifully you can see it's found that match there so if I come in here and I do a b one two three whoopsie four uh, I get an na and this happens a lot I have a lot of people saying to me what is going on and it's that blinking extra space at the end there you watch this if I come down here or if I come up here and put a space at the end of this look at that Okay, now I know you're not going to go through all of your codes in a 
column that's got extra spaces in it and do that pressure space bar I don't think so <laughs> hey but I have met people that have done it bless them um, but what we're going to do is we're going to use the trim function so if you thought oh no this data that I've just imported it's got all these extra spaces in it and of course you can go and check that just go and have a look this one's got an extra space in it um, if I come down to the next one that one's got an extra space you're like oh so what I would suggest you do is you put a cleaning column in now these cleaning columns you can delete them later on of course and you, all you're going to do is you're going to do your trim and you're going to pop that over the top of the cell that's got that extra space in it copy it down the column if you have to okay now what you're going to do is you're going to do a copy paste values and take that nice cleaned data and bring that back sorry bring that back over onto column E so what I'm going to do here is just do my copy and I'll come over to here and I'm just going to do paste one two three now once I've done that I'll just get rid of that column remember you can actually just delete the data you don't need it you're just using it to do the cleaning now the reason this isn't working anymore is because we've got the extra space remove it and look at that okay so that is a real gotcha and it's used so often when people are using VLOOKUP and there are a lot of software packages that um, people use that it's well known that as you pull information in, in a CSV file or you export it from that system into an Excel file you're going to have spaces travel with you so this is a brilliant tool to have in your tool toolbox so I really hope this instruction has been helpful and you are now able to quickly remove extra spaces in your Excel data. If you have found that you still have remaining spaces, you might like to check out my video on how to remove spaces trim misses. I've included a link for you. Now if this has been helpful, please let me know in the comments below. And if you use Excel and want to stay connected, please consider liking, following, subscribing because I'm sharing new videos regularly. And if you know someone who would benefit from this help, please be sure to share this video with them. Hey, thanks for watching and have a fabulous day.